who is here all the way from Mayapur Dam. His name is Harikita Prabhu. Just a brief background about Harikita Prabhu. He's been practicing Bhakti Yoga for over 25 years. He was introduced to the process of Bhakti back in the Middle East in Dubai. And over the years, he's been instrumental in cultivating a lot of communities in the Middle East, which includes classes for families, youth, and children. And he's also famously known for putting plays and dramas together. Uh, but since the year 2012, he decided to move to Mayapur, leaving his material job, and serving at Mayapur full time since 2012. Uh, he lives there along with his wife and son, and they are all completely dedicated in serving the mission of Srila Prabhupada. At the moment, Alina Prabhu is instrumental in uh, overseeing a very important project at Mayapur. It's about at the hospital. So for the first time, Mayapur will soon be having a hospital. And during the COVID times, Prabhu and his team was very instrumental in uh, making sure that there is health care provided for devotees living in Mayapur and the surrounding areas. So that's one of the major projects uh, undertaken by Prabhu. Additionally, he also holds Bhakti Shastri and Bhakti Mayapur degree and is known for giving practical and hilarious classes. So today we are very fortunate to have Khalila Prabhu with us. And this is his first time to Canada and Toronto. And he's going to be speaking on Balram Jainti all the way from Mayapur. So please give a big round of applause.
वैष्णवाजातम सहगण रघुनाथा सजीव साइतम सवदूत परजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधाकृष्णपादा सहगण ललिता श्री विशाखाता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तत्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रि वाछाकृपा सिंधु पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमा विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रष्टा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शुन्नवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीयदाधर श्रीवास गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मतम प्रतिवाचा मंदे शीघ्र दिन परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्य मिश्र कथाचन स्मृते दुष्कर सुकर भेद स्मृति भेद श्री चैतन्य Hare Krishna. So today is the appearance day of uh, Lord Balaram. It's very important day for us because Lord Balaram signifies service to Krishna, and we all want to do service to Krishna. We are all interested in serving Krishna. So who is the one who is teaching us to serve Krishna? Balaram is the one who is teaching us to serve Krishna because he serves Krishna in all possible ways. Generally, we can serve Krishna in five different ways. Uh, we can serve Krishna in Shantarasa means that Krishna, you are there and there. We both are happy with our mutual existence. And then, whenever Krishna wants to come and take some service from me, I am open to do some service to Krishna. So, the Shantarasa. So, or we are interested in serving Krishna in Dasarasa that we are always very keen what Krishna wants. Uh, and how to serve him? How to make him comfortable? Uh, how to make sure that he is all right? Uh, so this dasarasa that we are always trying to be servant of Krishna, like in uh, Goloka there is uh, boys, Chitra ka, Patra ka, Ratta ka. They are always very keen to serve Krishna. And Krishna is going to speak. They want to fan him. They want to, you know, massage his legs. Uh, somebody wants to give him some nice pillow. Uh, so always, always keen to serve Krishna. How 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 to make Krishna comfortable? How to make Krishna nice? So this is Dasarasa that we want to serve Krishna, uh, and then the Sakirasa, like the friends of Krishna. They think Krishna is equal to him, and they were they have friendly mood with Krishna, like Sri Rama, like Sudama. They are very friendly to Krishna. Sri Rama is saying, "Hey, Krishna, you think you are a big man? Uh, you think that uh, you, you think that you know just because you are Nandamaya's son, you are very big? Can you fight with me? Uh, we can have a fight." And Krishna says, "Hey, why not? I can fight with you." Then Krishna and Sri Rama they have fight. And guess who wins? Sri Ram wins. Yeah? And then he tells Krishna, Krishna, see, don't brag too much, okay? I can put you in place. So this is friendship with Krishna. They are friends. They are very friendly with Krishna. This is this is uh, Sakya Rasa. Huh? And then there's Vasudev Rasa. The, the elderly friends of Krishna, the Balaram, and all these people. They are always taking care of Krishna. And they are always making sure that Krishna is not getting into trouble. Hey Krishna, today's Janmashtami, you should go out and play. Uh, Krishna, you should do this. Krishna, you should do that. Uh, don't walk too much in the front. Walk in the middle of us. You know how Krishna used to go to Grace Cows. Krishna is going, and in front there is one one, one Gopa. There's back one Gopa. Two sides two Gopas. Uh, Krishna is going like this. He's fully protected uh, because they are they are always careful. Hey Krishna, some demon will come, so we should be very careful. Huh? So they have this sense of protecting Krishna. So this Vatsalya is a parental mood, uh, and then Krishna is also having. Um, this loving exchange with with girls of uh, of Raja, uh, they all like to see Krishna. They are always thinking, Oh, Krishna, when he will come? Uh, morning when Krishna goes, they are all looking at Krishna. And then when till the evening they are waiting when Krishna is going to come. And when Krishna comes in the evening, they all assemble to see Krishna. Oh, okay, 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 Krishna is coming. They have this wonderful uh, loving relationship with Krishna. So, so each of them have one relationship. With Each of them have one relationship, uh, but Balara, he is the only person. He has all relationship with Krishna. He has all types of relation with Krishna. Uh, 
Uh, he is in Sadrasa, he is in Dasarasa, he is in uh, Satyarasa, he is in Vatsalarasa, he is in Madhurarasa. All rasas he is serving Krishna because Balaram is the complete embodiment of the principle of service. Uh, as as, as uh, Krishna has three potencies, Sandini, Samvit and Haladini. Uh, Sandini means the potency by which Krishna exists is called Sandini. Samvit means by the, the potency by which Krishna is aware that he is Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Samvit. Haladini means that the potency with which Krishna enjoys. There is Haladini. Uh, so he has three potencies. Sandini, Samvit and Haladini. Uh, and uh, uh, Balaram, he is expansion of the Sandini potency. Uh, and he actually expands as Krishna's shoes, Krishna's Brahman thread and various uh, ornaments of Krishna. So this is all Santarasa. Uh, Krishna's shoes, they are just waiting for Krishna to come. Uh, and when Krishna comes, Krishna wears his shoes. And then Krishna serves, the Krishna's shoes serve Krishna like that. Uh, so this is Santarasa. They are waiting for Krishna to come and take service from them. So Balram also serves in Dasirasa as Ananda Shesh. Uh, he is a big bed in which the Lord sleeps. We all sleep in small bed. Uh, he sleeps in very big bed. Uh, and he, is, he, he actually serves him as Ananda Shesh. He is serving him. Uh, he is, uh, he, sometimes he comes as Lakshman, uh, who is his uh, elder, who is younger brother. Uh, and very keen to serve Lord Ram. Always trying to serve Lord Ram. And then when Lord Ram got married to Sita, there was a big problem. So Lakshman is thinking, hey, what is this? Now there is one new character. Because he never left Lord Ram. 24 hours he is always with Lord Ram, serving Lord Ram. Now Sita is coming, she is looking at Lakshman. Lakshman, now it's private time between me and Lord Ram. Can you please? And Lakshman is saying, what private time, man? It never happened to me like this before. And then, take it easy, take it easy. Now he is married. Okay. Leave him alone. So, always very keen to serve Lord Ram. So sometimes he takes a position uh, uh, and then of course as an elder, as a friend, sometimes he plays with Krishna, he has very nice time with Krishna, uh, sometimes he does that and then as an elder brother, sometimes he becomes very protective of Krishna and say, hey Krishna, don't do this, hey, don't do that, uh, he does so many things. Uh, so and then uh, he becomes Radharani's younger sister, uh, Angamanjali. And then he also serves Krishna in Madhya So he has the whole range. Uh, he has the whole range of service. Uh, Balaram is so special, he has whole range of service. So therefore, he is very special for us. Because whichever way we want to serve Krishna, then he is the man to go. He is the go for man. Uh, you go to him. Uh, you go to Balaram and then you surrender to him. You tell him that I want to serve Krishna. Please can you facilitate my service? Then yes. Balaram can facilitate. So Balaram expands as the Guru Tattva, as a spiritual master. And the spiritual master is very expert in engaging everybody in Krishna's service according to a different capacity. So that potency of the spiritual master to engage the disciples in different service comes from Lord Balaram. And that is Balaram. So that's why it's so special for us today that here is the person who is giving us the opportunity to serve Krishna and he appears today. And then how does he appear? He appear in style. He appear in style. And in great style he appears, uh, Lord Balaram. Uh, so when uh, when uh, Devaki and Vasudeva were married, then Kamsa is, you know, he's taking his sister, he's putting her in chariot, he's taking her, and then there's one big voice, hey fool, Kamsa, you don't have brain man. Uh, this this lady whom you are taking in the chariot, this lady's son, eight son, is going to kill you. Then comes her, hey, how is her eight son will kill me? I will kill her no one. Uh, then where is the question of eight son coming? Let me kill the source. In one moment, from servant, he became death personified. Taking his big sword, going to kill Devaki. I am going to kill you. Uh, then Vasudev intervened. He knows that this guy is crazy guy. Comes up. Uh, he can do anything at any moment. So Vasudev intervened and then he spoke very nice words. Uh, and then he pacified Kamsa and then he told him, don't worry, every time I have a son, I give it to you. You do whatever you want with the child. Problem solved. Then Kamsa said, okay, very nice. Because he had so much faith in Vasudeva's words. Uh, okay, Vasudeva was giving his word, then he said, okay, okay, okay. So he told, okay, go. 
go home. Uh, and then, of course, they go home and then they, they have the child, they must they abuse the child, and then, of course, he kills the child. So every time he's doing like that, and in between Narad when he goes, and then he tells, hey, you are left Vasudev and Devaki, it's for free. What they have secretly child, what do you do? Then comes out, who? Oh, really? They can secretly have child? No, what to do? Put them in jail, man. Oh, I can put them in jail. So immediately comes out, put them in jail. Why Narada did that? Because he wanted to expedite Krishna's coming and he wanted to make Kamsa to do whatever nonsense he does so that you know he can be quickly killed. Uh, so then he puts them in jail and then when the seventh child conceives, which is Balaram, uh, but this child is not supposed to die because he is Balaram. How can he die? Uh, he is supreme personality of Godhead. So then there is a plan. What is the plan? The plan is that uh, Vasudev's another wife, who is Revati, uh, sorry, Rohini, uh, she comes, uh, she was with Nanda Maharaj, she comes, and then Balaram gets transferred from Devaki's womb to Rohini's womb. He gets attracted from Devaki's womb to Rohini's womb. That's why he's called the Sankarshana, uh, the one who attracts. He goes from one womb to another womb, and then Rohini carries him away to the safety and then Kamsa is told, oh, she had a miscarriage. Kamsa is thinking, okay, my job is done. But it's not done. It's not done. Because he's there. He has gone and he's born uh, on this auspicious day. He is born to um, Rohini Devi. And then he's, he, he comes, he's, he's very much there. And then of course Krishna appears and so many things happen that we can hear during Janmashtami, how Krishna appears, very wonderful pastime of Krishna's appearance. And then Krishna and Balaram, they grow up in, uh, in Vraja. And this so beautiful explanation of how Krishna and Balaram, they're growing up in Vraja, they're small boys. You know what they used to do? They used to actually crawl in, uh, in the Nanda Maharaj's um, uh, the, in the courtyard, where Nanda Maharaj's courtyard is so wet. Why it is wet? It is wet because of cow dung, mud and milk. So then these boys they go and they, they are rolling in the cow dung and the mud and the milk uh, and they are fully coated with cow dung, mud and milk and also this cow urine and everything and then when the cows go, these boys what is their play? They go and catch hold of the tail of the cow and then on the mud, the cows are running, they are sliding on the mud uh, and then they are laughing, hey, <laughs> they laugh. So this way they grow up having so many pastimes. Uh, and then uh, when they grow up a little bit more, of course on Gopashtami day, then they go to uh, herd the cows. You know, Gopashtami day, they are given the calves. When they are young boys, they are first given the calves. So they go to herd the calves. And then this whole pastime of killing the demons starts. You know, uh, one demon after another demon comes and then so many demons are killed. And of course, there is a specific demons who are killed by Balaram. And many demons are killed by um, Lord Krishna. So Balaram kills Devakasura, the, the ass demon. And he was in a very nice forest. And what is that forest? Forest of Talavan, Talavan forest. And Tal fruit, very nice fruit. In my you get Tal fruit. Very sweet. The sweet, the season you get Tal fruit. But it's very difficult to take the juice because it's very fibrous. It takes a whole process to take out the juice. But when you, when you go through the process, take out the juice, it's so sweet. So fragrant, the tal fruit juice. So they had so many big, big tal trees and so many tal fruits. And this demon, he was there and he was not allowing anybody into the forest. And anybody goes, he tried to kill them. So then the boys are telling, oh Krishna or Balaram, you are so expert in killing so many demons. But you see, this there is an ash demon in Talavan and making so much of disturbance. Why don't we go there and we kill this demon and then we can eat all the tal fruit there. Uh, why don't we do that today? Uh, we can have a nice time, we can go there. Then Krishna and Balaram agreed, okay, okay, let's go. We'll go there, we'll see what to do. Uh, and then they went there, and then they, when they saw that so many big, big, tall, tall trees are there, laden with fruits, because nobody goes there. Uh, nobody goes to take those fruits. They're all afraid of this demon. So much laden with fruits. Then Balaram and Krishna, they started shaking the tree. Tak, 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 shaking the tree. And the fruits are falling. Boom, 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 boom. Fruits are falling. And then they asked them, hey, who came here? Who has the audacity to come to my forest? Huh? And then take the fruits. Then they're coming very fast. And then see, and this Krishna and Balaram, 
Uh, and then the asked one thing, who to kill? Krishna is killing so many demons. Better Balaram, uh, target Balaram. Maybe he is not so powerful. Maybe he is not so powerful. Strength he goes for Balaram. And Balaram is waiting. Uh, please, come, my dear. <laughs> come, come. And then he takes his back hooves and he kicks Balaram. And Balaram says, okay, now what? Kick is over. What next? Then he tries to attack again. Then Balaram takes his back foot. Try, 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 try. The guy is flying like a rocket and going and hitting on tall tree. And then, dead. And all the fruits are falling. And then so many donkey demons are coming behind. Hey, our leader is killed. Let's go and attack. Let's go and attack. Let's go and attack. And everybody goes the same fate. And Krishna and Balaram are taking each donkey demon, spinning them and then throwing them on the tree. After some time, all the trees were having hanging donkeys. <laughs> and then it's explained Bhagavad Gita was looking so beautiful because all these donkey demons, they were bleeding. Uh, and they were of different colors because each of them got hurt very differently and each of them were bleeding and they, all of them were different colors and were looking so nice and all the tall fruits fell down and then what did the boys do? did they eat the tall fruit? no, they didn't eat the tall fruit they said, hey, all these tall fruits are now contaminated with blood let's go we'll not eat it, let's go simply they walk off uh, their job is done, why? Demons are killed, now their job is done, they just walk off. So this way, so many pastimes happened and then later pastime when, uh, when Balaram, he was in Dwarka, there was, a, there was another demon. He was not a demon, actually he is a very important personality in, in Ramayana. In Ramayana he is one of the generals of Lord Ram. Uh, this monkey, he was called Duvida, he was a very, very strong monkey. He had the power of 10,000 elephants. 10,000 elephants, very, very powerful monkey. Uh, but what, he was associated with Lord Ram. And even when we pray to Lord Ram, there are some mantras where we chant the, uh, the, the glories of Mahindra and Duvida, the, the two monkeys. Uh, but so powerful and such a great personality, unfortunately, he fell into wrong association. He went to the association of Naraka, the, the, the demon Naraka. And because of the wrong association, he became demoniac and then he lost all his good character. And then, when Krishna, when Krishna killed Naraka, he became very disturbed. Oh, my friend is killed. Now this Krishna only killed him, so I should go and cause disturbance in his country. So he went to Dwarka, and the outskirts of Dwarka, he caused so many disturbances. Sometimes he used to go to the ocean, because so powerful, he was so powerful. And he used to push all the ocean water into the village, and the whole village would get drowned in the ocean. So like that, he did so many things. And then, one time, when Balaram, he was having some nice time with, with uh, uh, some ladies, then he saw, oh, this guy, why he is doing like this? Uh, so let's go and disturb him. Then he got into a uh, big tree, and then he was sitting on the tree, and he was making nice. So Balaram is having nice, you know, music and dance and everything. At that time, you know, with loud voice. Hello? What's wrong? Who are you? He is his teeth. You know how monkeys do? He is uh, And then he jumps. And then when he jumps, all the girls, you know, they, are, they are very innocent girls. When they see monkeys doing so many pranks, then they start laughing. Eee, what is the monkey? They're laughing. And then Duvida became more angry. And then he started many, doing many obscene things in front of the ladies. Uh, they are doing very dirty things in front of ladies. They are trying to pass stool, they are trying to pass urine. They gave, ah, uh, and then he started pulling their dress. He went in pulling this dress, that dress, and then he started pulling Balaram's dress. And Balaram became very angry. Hey, now time for you to go, man. Your time is finished. Uh, and Balaram took one big stone and he threw at the monkey. And the monkey simply jumped aside and then started laughing at Balaram. Balaram became very angry and then he took his plow and then he took his um, uh, mace and then he went to bang, he put one, one on the head he gave one blow and then this guy started bleeding and now he became very angry. He took one big oak tree and then he went to attack Balaram and Balaram what he did with, with one blow of his mace he actually made that oak tree small small sticks. 
completely shattered the oak tree. Now this made the monkey very angry. Then he started pulling one more oak tree, he started throwing it like this. The whole forest, he pulled out all the trees and now there is no more tree. All the trees finished. Now the monkey, what he will do, is thinking, now what to do, oh, all trees are finished. Then he looked around, there are many, many big, big boulders. He started throwing big, big boulders at, at Balaram. And Balaram, he hit all those boulders with his mace and all those boulders became pebbles, became pebbles. And finally, boulders also finished. Now what to do? Then he became, he said, okay, now I'll attack with my hands. 10,000 elephants power I have with my hands. I give one blow to this guy, he's finished. He jumped in front of Balaram and gave one big blow in his chest. And Balaram, okay, now. So Balaram gave up his weapons because now this guy is attacking with hand. Now it's not good to actually have weapons. So he threw his weapons and then one slap he gave in his collar bone. That was the last slap he had in his life. Finished. Finished. The guy was finished. So he fell down dead and uh, then all everybody was happy. Of course, a very instructive pastime. Why is it a very instructive pastime? Because uh, the first thing is that this uh, this monkey, he was actually an exalted personality. He's an exalted personality. Uh, he was Lord Ram's associate with exalted personality. But he became such a demonic person due to association. So therefore, we should be very careful about with what people we associate. Uh, we may be devotees and we may have nice intentions, but at the same time, we should be very careful to choose our association nicely in the association of devotees. We should not fall into wrong association because when we fall into wrong association, what is the effect of falling into wrong association? The effect of falling into wrong association is that you start seeing the spiritual master as an ordinary person. That's the first effect of wrong association. When, uh, when Duvida saw Balaram, he should actually recognize him that this is my master, he is Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is my master. He was the one I was actually serving in the previous Yuga. So I should be very, very respectful to him. Unfortunately, he could not recognize Balaram as the Supreme Personality of Godhead because of wrong association. He thought he is an ordinary person. So this is the effect of bad association. When we fall into God association, we start seeing the Acharya as an ordinary person. And then we start creating disturbance in the mission of the Acharya. Instead of helping the mission of the Acharya, we start creating disturbance to the mission of the Acharya. Uh, we start talking so many things, we start going and troubling devotees, we start to do so many things about which is not so nice in the association of devotees. Association of devotees is meant to have six types of loving exchanges. Daladi Pradhikunati, Guhya Maka Pipratchati, Bhunte Bhojaite Chaiva, Shadvidam Priti Lakshanam. So association of devotees is meant to have the six types of loving exchanges that you give gift, you receive gift, and then you, you invite them for prashad, and then you have prashad with them, uh, you open your heart and talk to them about how to improve in Krishna consciousness, you get guidance from them. This is what association of devotees is meant for. And when this six type of loving exchanges happen in the association of devotees, then everything is auspicious. But when we fall into wrong association, then we try to replace the association of devotees, not disturbance the association of devotees. Uh, that's what happened with him. He tried to disturb the devotees who are with Balara. Uh, and ultimately, then our spiritual life is in danger because then Guru has to deal with us very heavily. Uh, of course, Balara killed him, but uh, in Kaliga, the same Balara appears as Nityananda Prabhu. When the Balara appears as Nityananda Prabhu, he doesn't kill anybody. Huh? He doesn't kill anybody. Huh? He becomes very merciful. He only kills that demoniac mentality, like Jagai and Madai. Huh? When Malara, when, when Nityananda Prabhu saw Jagai and Madai, immediately he thought, oh, these people are so demoniac. He's telling Haridas, hey Haridas, you see these people, they are so demoniac. If they make them devotees, if they will dance in the courtyard of uh, Mahaprabhu, then it will be so glorious, man. And Haridas is thinking, you got into trouble. Don't do this. You're going to get into trouble. Of course, I don't have time to speak the whole pastime. But ultimately, we know that even though 
Madai was attacking uh, Nityananda Prabhu and Nityananda Prabhu was bleeding. Still, when, when Mahaprabhu appeared, he was so angry, he wanted to kill Jagai and Madai. And then Nityananda Prabhu told, hey, please stop, don't kill them. This, this yuga is not for killing people. This yuga is simply for giving mercy, giving love. Uh, making them simply to take out the demonic mentality from them. Don't kill them. Don't call your chakra because Mahaprabhu was so angry. He was calling Sudarshan, Sudarshan, Sudarshan. And then Mahaprabhu said, Hey, please stop, 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 stop. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. No, no. This is, this is not the time for Sudarshan. This is not the time for weapon. This is the time for Prashadam. Getting ready. <laughs> this is time for Prashadam. Uh, this is time for Kirtan. Uh, this is this is this is time for simply killing the demoniac mentality of people. So don't don't be angry. Uh, so because of of Mahaprabhu's uh, Nityananda's mercy, then Jagai Mandai they became such a nice devotees. They saw oh he's such a saintly person. We hit him, but still he's trying to save our life. What kind of saintly person he is? Their, their heart changed. Uh, their heart melted. Their heart changed, and then they became great devotees. <coughs> Even today in Mayapur we have the guy, but I got where they are actually serving so many devotees and they are dancing in ecstasy. So this is Balaram in Kaliga, as Lord Nityananda. Uh, when he appears in Kaliga as Lord Nityananda, uh, he becomes he becomes the most merciful. Uh, he becomes the most merciful. Uh, he he loses all his anger. Uh, he's no more angry. Like when he saw the he became so angry, he attacked him. No, Nityananda Prabhu is never angry. Akrodha Paramananda Nityananda Raya. Uh, he is Akrodha, he is never angry. He sees all demoniac people and then he thinks, oh, they are all candidates to become great devotees. Uh, so then he is recommending them to Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu, hey, please see, so many nice candidates are there to become devotees. Please give them your mercy, let them become devotees. Uh, so this way, Balaram, when he becomes Nityananda Prabhu, he becomes even more merciful, even more merciful in Kali Yuga. These two, uh, these two brothers, um, uh, <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu, uh, they are called Sarva Avatara Sara Shiromani. Uh, they are the crown jewel. Uh, Sarva Avatara Sara Shiromani. And when we get associated with them, there's only happiness. Kevala Ananda Kanda. There's only happiness. Uh, in this material world, there's so much of misery. But when we, when we chant um, their name, Bhaja Bhaja Bhai, Chaitanya Nitai, uh, when we, we actually chant their name, uh, we become so happy, uh, we become so happy when we chant their names of Gauranga and Nityananda. Uh, when we chant their names, when we simply raise our hands and then we chant, oh! in Duryodhan to make him as his dearest disciple. Yeah, it's very nice. But the, the, the character which Balaram saw in Duryodhan was that Duryodhan was very keen in pleasing God Balaram. Even though Duryodhan had his ulterior motives, 
we knew that okay, if I please Banara and I can get this, I can get that. But we had nothing in motives. But we simply saw that the leader was very keen to see Banara. So that is that is the very nature of Guru. That we may have many ideal motives, we may come to Krishna consciousness, we may think like this, we may think like that. But as long as we are keen in pleasing the spiritual master, the spiritual master thinks this is the right idea. Now he doesn't take any other defect into consideration. We may be, we may have thousands of defects. Right? Bhagavatam said, Kale, Dosh, and Therefore, he is a few candidates. So that is one of the So that's why 